look at that awesome machine. Drag bike legend, Mr. Bob Carpenter here. Bob, what are we looking at? Please tell me about this. It's a Hayabusa head being five axis CNC ported. All automatic. Bring up the program on this computer here. This is 14,000 lines of measurement information for just one half of one port. And it's doing the, the valve side half of this number four port on a Hayabusa. So the very famous RCC turbo. He sends his head and camshaft stuff for us to do. Very cool. How often does this machine run? Is this basically every day, five days a week, four days a week in the summertime? I take off Friday. <laughs> <laughs> and how about the work it enables you to do as compared to what what a man could do by hand? Well, this I can almost beat at times with by hand, but nothing's the same. This is always the very best of our heads done every time right on wow. and what's this do to a guy's performance what you're doing to the head right now well what it does is they can be assured that it's the best up-to-date head there is out there available and what we do is we can make 10 heads of our best head and then we can make deviations of the port and test it on the dyno instead of the flow bench which does not tell any truth at all and find out if we've made more horsepower with this new shape or enlargement or whatever and then we can take it back here put on the machine put this where the cutting head goes hook up the cable and digitize the port and make a new head and then make duplicates as many as we want so our learning curve of being able to do one little different shape is, is just tremendous because you can't duplicate your best head by hand so your learning curve isn't where our learning curve is and you've always said the flow bench doesn't tell the truth, right? A lot of guys live by a flow bench, you've never liked it. Well, one of the reasons it doesn't tell the truth is you're, you're testing flowing at different valve lift periods, okay? The airspeed can't be duplicated from a flow bench as it can be a running engine. And a running engine at 10,000 RPM, every valve opens and closes 83 times a second. That means your valves are closed 83 times a second. So the flow bench can't come close to duplicating what a running engine can do with the waves, the packing of the airflow, etc. There you go, guys. You heard it from the expert himself. We'll give you one more look at this awesome, awesome machine.